Thank you, Sujan, for your kind introduction. Um, my talk is about prospective clinical trial for uterine adenomyosis using a portable ultrasound guide HIFU. We developed a new a portable ultrasound guide HIFU uh, for, the, in, in, for the abdomen through six year collaboration of our, of our hospital and Alpinian company. Um, different from previous uh, ultrasound guide HIFU for the abdomen, it is compact in size, portable, uh, all in one system. It has manually driven treatment head for speedy treatment. It has multi channel 256 phase array transducer. Using electronic steering, uh, it provides 3D volumetric treatment zone without movement of treatment head with actual diameter of five centimeters and lateral diameter of 2.6 centimeters. It is very helpful to reduce treatment time. Uh, this slide shows how the treatment is being performed uh, with this machine. The purpose of our study was to investigate the efficacy and safety of the portable ultrasound guide HIFU for the treatment of uterine adenomyosis. Um, the inclusion criteria is uh, are list, are listed up in this slide. 20 years or older women, premenopausal or perimenopausal, dysmenorrhea score four or higher, no treatment of, uh, for adenomyosis within three months and before enrollment. Exclusion criteria are listed up in this slide. Um, this study was approved by our ILB. Written informed consent was obtained in all patients. 80 patients were enrolled. However, 10 patients were dropped off before treatment because of diffuse adenomyosis, high FSH level, or no adenomyosis on MRI. 70 patients were treated by HIFU. Um, among them, four patients were dropped off due to consent withdrawal or study protocol violation. Finally, we included 66 patients. Mean age was 43 years. HIFU was performed by one radiologist. Deport parameter uh, is as shown in this slide. We analyzed non-perfused volume and non-perfused volume ratio at immediate MRI. Uh, adenomyosis volume change at one month and three months follow-up MRI. Symptom and complication. Regarding uh, symptom improvement, we used this manual improvement index, uterine fibroid symptom and quality of life questionnaire, and symptom severity score. In result, a mean volume of adenomyosis was 114 milliliter. Mean immediate non perfused volume ratio was 61.5%. Mean tumor volume shrinkage rate was at, uh, at three months follow up was 42%. Mean treatment time was 95 minutes. Uh, regarding uh, dysmenorrhea improvement index, uh, grade one means complete relief, uh, grade three minor relief, grade five exacerbated pain. At three months follow-up, uh, complete relief, 37% uh, of treated patients presented complete relief, 34% uh, of treated patients um, presented partial relief, 22% of treated, pain, uh, treated patient presented minor relief. No one presented exacerbated pain. Uh, non perfused volume ratio uh, at uh, grade one DII was uh, 77%, grade two, 60%, 53, uh, grade three, 53%. As you can expect, um, non perfused volume ratio and three months DII showed a uh, linear relationship of correlation coefficient of 0.392. So it means that a larger MPV uh, ratio was obtained, the bigger symptom improvement was obtained. So, total, in overall, 94% uh, of treated patients showed uh, symptom improvement of dysmenorrhea. Regarding UFS, QOL, and SSS, um, significant uh, square drops were obtained in at, at three months, at one month and three months follow-up. 
Minor adverse events such as abdominal pain, back pain, or vaginal discharge were frequent, but all of them are, were transient without treatment. However, we had two serious complications, so the degree burn at the buttock occurred in one patient, which needed uh, debris and skin closure due to dupes, uh, too deep sedation. We usually use, um, we usually change uh, transducer direction when a patient uh, complained of his sensation. However, in this case, we could do that because too deep sedation of the patient. A lag tingling sensation occurred, but it was subsided three months after treatment. Let me give you a representative case. You can see a diffuse thickening of posterior wall of uterus, uh, means, uh, which means uh, adenomyosis. This, this patient uh, presented severe menorrhagia and dysmenorrhea. Uh, you can see real-time imaging, uh, imaging monitoring during treatment. You can see um, the occurrence of echogenic spot in the uterus over there. Yeah, it grows uh, over time. Okay, uh, immediate uh, post high MRI shows complete ablation of the, this tumor. One month follow-up and three months follow-up shows progressive reduction, volume reduction of adenomyosis uh, ablated zone. At that time, the patient um, did not uh, present anomenorrhagia or dysmenorrhea. In conclusion, HIFU treatment using this portable HIFU unit uh, was effective for symptom improvement in the treatment of adenomyosis. The larger MPVR. Uh, the bigger symptom improvement. It was safe, but careful monitoring during treatment is needed. Uh, this slide shows our member. Uh, please come to Korea. Uh, I, am, I am preparing, we are preparing a lot of things. Uh, Gyeongju is an uh, ancient, 1,000 years, beautiful city in Korea. Thank you for your attention. Any questions? Okay, thank you so much.